Hello, my name is Chad. I'm an application engineer here at United Grinding. I'm going to go over the installation with you on a HeliSet Plus from taking it out of the box and what we're going to do to have to hook it up. That way you can do it yourself just from removing the brackets and then just the connections of air and electric. And then we'll go over the teaching of presetters and how to measure wheels. So with our HeliSet Plus, after we have it out of the box, the first thing that we're going to have to do is we need to remove the shipping brackets. We have three shipping brackets on the piece of equipment. We have one here, which we'll just unscrew and pull out. Then we also have two brackets, one in the face here on for the Y and one for the X on here behind the covers. So the first one that I'll remove I'll take that one out and then I'm going to move over here to take these out so the next bracket I'll take off is in behind the y-axis way cover so it's just velcroed up so I can pull this down and it's a five millimeter allen there and I can replace that just push up and then also here on the X I have another in the bottom with two bolts Get out. Get the cover back. Now all my brackets have been removed. One of the next things I want to do is I want to plug in my power source. So it's just it's a standard 110. So I can plug it in. And then on the back side, over here we have our air supply where we'll plug our air supply in. So we take our air supply. Now that we have the shipping brackets off and now that we have the power and air connected, all we have to do is simply turn it on by turning on the switch. So now we turn the power on. And now we're going to go through the boot up process. So the computer's going to boot up and then it's going to come to a screen where it's going to, have to ask us to reference the axis of the machine. Okay, so the first time we turn it on and every time that you turn it on, it's always going to prompt you to home all your axes. So by depressing the buttons on the handle here, uses the air to release the brake because right now it won't move but then by pressing in I'm able to move so I'll move up and down left and right and then I'll also turn and then it goes away the homing's done and then we wait for the, the rest of the initialization so now that we booted up now what we need to do is we need to teach our presetter because that's how we're going to measure our wheels because we want to get the correct length for our presetter, presetter that we can teach and store in our library. So the first thing we're, we're going to do is we want to set our point. So here there's a ground piece here that we can that we're going to line up on. So I'll bring it over. Here. As 
So as you can see, it's in the monitor here. So I have a fine adjustment now for left to right on this one. And on the side I hear I have a fine adjustment for up and down. Then what I'll do is I'll move this to where I'm at my height. Here, this one here will also move in and out. Now what I want to do is I want to measure from this surface to the top of my presetter to teach my length to give it my number. That way I can, I'll know where my zero point is for my wheel pads. So the easiest way to do this is now I can come in here and I can click on the Z for the Z axis. And it'll pop this one up. And now I'm going to collect the numerals, the 0.0, .0 and this switches it to incremental. So now I can take this measurement from here to the top. So I'm going to take my presetter, depending on which type you have, we're going to do, use HSK or if you have a double cone, some are short, some long. I'll place it in here, then I will move to the top. So I'm going to come to my top edge, I'll use my fine adjustment, bring it to the top. So then it gives me 85 millimeters, 690 micro. So this number I'll write down because I'll need it. So come back, remove my arbor. Now I'm gonna come right back to where I was. Here. I'll use my fine adjustment and I want to line up on my marker. There. And now I'm going to teach from this point the height of my preset. So it'd be F8 on the keyboard or I can select the icon here it says number eight. So I'm gonna select this one. So now I'm gonna teach it my adapter. I'm gonna give my adapter a name. And this is, I'm gonna select this is training. HSK. Okay. For reference adapter code, it's an HSK adapter, so I'm going to select number two. My X dimension is will be listed on the spindle here. So on here it says diameter is X is 87 millimeter, 490 microns. So I'm going to enter that number here. And then for my Z number, is the number that I wrote down, but we're going to enter this value as a negative number. So I'm going to be a negative 85.690. And then once I have this information done, I'll hit my check mark to accept it. And then I also have here where uh, now I'll just hit my X button, number four. Okay, now I have all that. So now I need to, the first time that you make one, you have to qualify. So want to qualify, it'd be my F7 key, or I can hit the icon, it's on here. So I'll click this one. It's gonna ask me to pick the adapter. So it's training H HSK, that's that what I named it. The check mark. That's gonna be here, then it's the adapter calibration. Tells me it's carried out correctly. So that's okay. So now it's all taught. So I can just hit the back arrow. So now we're ready to measure wheels. 
So if you have a plus, I'm going to hit the F2 to come in here to measure wheel packs. So now I need my wheel arbor for my presetter. We get a wheel pack. We're gonna do a one eight. We're gonna measure one a one and eleven b five. I can fasten this down with a four millimeter. So now that I have my wheel in here, what I want to do is I want to just do some measurements. So I'm gonna line up. 11 me five. So if I want to just take measurements, I have a couple of easier options. I have quick measurements and I have constructed measurements. So if I'm just wanting some numbers off the wheel, I can come in here and I can measure the wheel. So, so if I want my diameter for 11 me five, because I want this intersection point, of this diameter here, I can go into constructed measurements and ask for a diameter. And it's going to ask me to pick a wheel arbor so I can pick the one we just did, the training HSK. Click check. So, the first thing he's going to do is ask me for two points. So, I'm going to go a point here, a point here across the top. Then, it wants me to do, it's going to ask me for two more points, which will be on my angle. So it gives me my intersection, my check mark pops up. So now I can select my check mark and it'll give me my diameter. Now all I'm doing is taking measurements, so I don't really need to fill out fill out this. If I wanted to give a wheel pack name, I could at this point. But for what I'm wanting, just for a quick measurement, then I'll just hit X. Uh, some of the other functions here, so if I just want to do a quick measurement, if I want my Z link, I can do go to quick measurement, I can do link, and it's gonna ask me here, so I can come here to pick. Well, the thing is, I don't have to have my mouse for my cursor right on the spot because it snaps to the shadow. Because if you see the little blue box, it runs with on the shadow, so I get it about where I want it, I click it, I have my check mark, I click it, and then it also give me my Z link here. Some of the other, so on some of the other functions, I can look at my my one a one that I have. You know, if I, I just want to do a radius, I can come in here. I can do my radius. It'll ask me to click three points there. My check mark. I pick it. It gives me my radius size here. If I want to do a diameter, I can just come pick diameter. It'll go snap to my diameter, so as I can move around, but it stays on it. Check mark it gives me my diameter here, and so that's just one way that I can go, and I can do quick measurements on a wheel if I want to do that. Now, if I want to establish a wheel pack, my F1 or my number one icon down here, I can select it for add a new. And over here, I can start adding in what wheel type. So in the drop down, my first drop down, my top wheel being 11 v 5 I can go select from the database of wheels it has. I can pick 11 v 5 My next wheel is a 1A1. So I can select 1A1. And if you notice a little red dot up top, well, that's going to be my setup point. Well, I know I want to grind to the back. That I want my setup point to be here. So... The little icon here I can flip and it moves my red dot to the back side so I know that's my setup point now for me to measure I'm gonna go hit the caliper the 11 b5 and I'll go to measure and it's gonna ask me the code so this is what I'm gonna call our wheel pack so I'm gonna call it our our training wheels There. So now, 
doing this method, you have a hint box. So now it's telling me here, click the one pass point. Well, you'll notice there's a point here to show me where I need to be at. So I will line the machine up on my wheel. To my one pass point here. Once two points along the angle. And each time I do it, it's giving me my information over here. And now it's asking me for my highest point in X, which is my outside diameter. And I have that information. So now it goes to the check mark. Now that means that process is done for the wheel. There. So I was just able to get my diameter, my Z length my angle of the wheel, my outside diameter. So now I can come to my next wheel. As you see, I have a green check for that one, but I still need to measure this one. So I can go to caliper, I can check here. So the first thing it wants is three, to, to do the radius on the bottom. So I will move to the bottom. So I'm going to do three points along the bottom, my radius, what's the highest point in X would be my diameter, and that's asking me the lowest point in Z. Now it wants three points on the top radius, My highest point in X, my highest point in Z, my check mark comes up and I select it. Now it's giving me all my information that I've measured there for diameter, Z length, and radii. Everything's green. So that wheel pack saved. Now later on when I come back to measure this wheel, wheel pack, I can go into my library here on three, select it. It pops it up. I can find my wheels, so I'll go to training wheels. And it loads that same wheel pack up. And then I would just go through and I would just redo my, if I dress the wheels or I change it out a wheel, I could go back through my remeasure process. So that's for measuring wheels, I have two different ways. I can just do quick measurements or construction measurements and, and just use those, or I can establish wheel packs and have a library of all my different wheel packs that I have of different types that I can go through and, and remember. There is an option that you can get with the machine that I can export directly to the machine by network, or I can put on a thumb drive, or I can also I can also print uh, on a printout and it would give me that wheel pack, diameters, Z links, radii also. Uh, but, it's, but it's very simple. It walks you through just for creating. I can have drop downs, I can change, I can select what, what type of different wheel. It has a very large selection of, of the different types of wheels. And then I just go to measure and then when I do, you also, what's nice to feature is the hint box that lets you go and gives you little icons of the dots of, of the area where you need to be measuring on the wheel. So, you know, for measuring wheels, that kind of sums up for all the wheel measurements. Uh, it's a, uh, like I said, it's very user friendly and that's about all it takes. And you get off and running. You have, you have your wheels measured. You're ready to go to the machine. I just want to thank you for watching the video for the installation of HeliSet Plus. If you happen to have any other questions, feel free to contact us and we will get right back to you to try to help you out. Thank you.